This saxophone is a hundred years in the making, made here at the Henri Selmar Paris factory in Mont La Ville, France, about an hour west of Paris. The factory is one of the oldest of its kind, but it all started in 1885 with one frustrated musician. This is his great grandson. He was not so happy um, about his own clarinet, so he wanted to improve his clarinet. He made a prototype and improved it again and again. Then, in 1922, he applied what he'd learned to the saxophone, and the word got out. Michael Breaker, Steve Coleman, John Coltrane, Branford Massalis, Chris Potter, uh, Mark Turner. But no musician wants to be a one-hit wonder. For Henri Selmar Paris, the challenge was, and is, modernizing its saxophone, but not too much. We found the good compromise between an instrument made by hand and by machine. Because when it's too much made by machine, they have the same sound. Yeah, so if you want to insert your own personality inside the one when you blow it, it's impossible because uh, it's too limited, you know. 80% of the production process is still done the way it's always been done, by hand. Even though this process takes longer, the factory still pumps out about 10,000 saxophones a year. 500 artisans work here, using century-old techniques. Workers cut sheets of brass and hammer the bell, body, and neck into shape. They bore holes into the body using precision machines, cut out keys and rods, and even custom engrave the occasional flourish. Then workers suit up and mist the pieces with a final coat of lacquer. Each saxophone has 750 pieces and takes about 30 hours to make, from start to finish. Once the instruments are done, a professional saxophonist puts them to the test. Because of the detail, customers can wait up to a year for their Henri Selmar saxophone, which run between $4,000 and $30,000. The factory also makes about 3,000 clarinets, and 85,000 mouthpieces here each year. There are hundreds of saxophone factories around the world, the majority of which are in Asia. But despite the competition, Jerome says sales for Henri Selmar Paris hit $41 million in 2018, up about $2 million from the year before. After four generations, we're still in life. We are, our business is doing quite well, and we're still going. You have to, to create, to develop innovations, stay in touch with musicians and try to catch informations from everywhere and just work on them and mix together to make the best instruments.